In today's video, we are making everyone's favorite Mr. Watt or Red Lentil Stew. I do have a couple of Mr. Watt recipes on my channel, but I haven't done like an explanation before. I hope this one will kind of give you a little more understanding for those of you who are new to making Ethiopian food. So like always, I'll leave the measurements in the description below. Here we have red lentils, onions, garlic, Ethiopian spice butter, berbere spice, Ethiopian cardamom, veggie stock. Uh, this is really optional. I don't always use it, to be honest, the veggie stock. I forgot to add in this video, but I'm going to use fresh tomatoes and tomato paste. Salt to your taste and oil. So first we're going to cook the onions with its own juice. Cooking the onions this way will bring natural sweetness out of it um, from my understanding and I always like to do it this way whenever possible. And then from there we just kind of add all the ingredients like very slowly. So I added oil and salt. Salt will kind of help the onions to wilt quickly. And then we'll go ahead and add berbere spice. The reason why I'm adding berbere spice early is the longer it's kind of uh, sauteed or cooked, the spiciness will really reduce, like especially if you don't like it spicy. Um, and then we'll put the heat to low and just keep on stirring. Yeah, it's just a lot of stirring here. half of the batter and I keep the half for later on to finish it up and then I'll go ahead and add the lentils I'm also going to boil uh, water on the side so I can add as I go uh, what we're trying to achieve here is to let the lentils observe all the flavors that's why I don't add water right away if you have to add water just a little bit that's okay but put it on the lowest heat possible and let the lentils observe the flavors at least like five to ten minutes put the heat on high and then add the boiling water and um, as you're mixing all the other ingredients the lentil will continue to cook because red lentils cook quickly and it becomes mushy easily that's why you have to be there <laughs> just finish it over with butter oil cardamom and then as soon as you can just remove the lentils from the heat because it will continue to cook Then serve with injera. You have to eat this one with injera, in my opinion. It was so delicious. I don't like to brag on my cooking, but this was so good. Actually, I was the one that was eating. I hope this was helpful. Uh, let me know how you go. And if you have any other video that you want me to do, you can leave it in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.